Jacob Selby Rivas, 23 grams. Who is this youth player? And more importantly, what does he throw? Loxley kindly sent me the Bamba 23 gram darts he uses, featured in this plastic clam shell, showing off the darts nicely through the window, with a chrome look black, dominating the darts with dangerous red rings. This dart means business. Inside the plastic clam shell, you get a hardback black case, and on the left we see the three barrels connected to the stems, with the centre dart holding the flight for the display window. All three darts are held by a point protector, and the remaining flights are slotted neatly on the right section of the case. 90% tungsten, as you'd expect from a plow player dart, and in the favourite weight, 23 grams. The chrome polished look is very classy, and looks different colours often with the way that it catches the light. At 44.95, these are in keeping with many pro player darts that are 90% tungsten. The darts are centre weighted and tapered at the nose with added grip, which for me is ideal as that's where I rest my stabilising finger. The front section and the rear are similar with smooth ring grips, giving it a bit more friction than the central smooth section that features the Bamba and Loxley logos. The polished look looks really nice and it isn't too slippy. I've given this a 1 rating in the middle of the dart rather than a 0 because I think of the black PVD coating which gives more grip than a smooth slippy barrel, which I assume is due to the black PVD coating. Jacob previously threw Daryl Gurney darts, which you can see the influence within his design here, although I would say that I think that the grooves for the actual darts themselves are a little bit less. The red paint in the grooves gives these barrels a nice look and are teamed with black Loxley stems and the funky red feather arrow flights that we're used to seeing from the Loxley brand. At 54mm long, this might be slightly too long for me in regard to my personal preference, but let's get them to the board and find out how they fly. I expected the dart to sit fairly low and be especially difficult to throw from the front due to the length, but I was pleasantly surprised by the balance that was much more flattering than usual for a dart of this length. No issues with grip on the front and no fish tailing through my testing, which is a testament to the balance point, which suits even myself with a personal preference of a shorter barrel. We're off to a good start. I don't know whether I was just grouping well on this day of filming, but one of the lasting impressions of this dart was that they group very easily, and it was a noticeable impression that was left on me. In fact, they grouped a little too well on this second throw, which for me is primarily down to the points, which, if I was using a grippy point, this final dart may have, just may have, stayed in the board. Still, I'd be happy if I was able to get this consistency of grouping, even with the bounce out, which can happen with any set of darts. Rear grip now, and I shifted my balancing finger slightly further back, which was very comfortable. And once again, these really do cut through the air and glide into the same area as the previous dart. They don't feel like they're 54 millimeters. They feel maybe 50 to 51 millimeters when I throw them, which is in the threshold of my preference. If you had given these to me without telling me the length, I would say they throw more like a shorter barrel 50-51, which would be perhaps due to the taper and balance of the dart. This is a good thing though, as it's much more plausible for those who are debating on whether to purchase based on the length. They may just work for you. Okay, so now to throw with different flights. This seems to be really popular with my reviews, as it seems to help people see how it may react with their setup. Nice and comfortable with my setup, but wait until you see the next. This was the first throw, and it was a cracker. I actually threw three more times just to check out the entry level of the board, which was the same. So of course, I chose this one to show to you. Boom. Now on to the pairs and slims, which will typically give you the lowest entry. 
but it was much more significant with the slims compared to the pairs. Compared to the pairs. <laughs> That's classy dialogue there. I struggled to get a mid-tail, although if I had thrown from further back, I think I would have had it level a little bit more. I am by default using a shorter stem, which should give me the best chance for a high tail entry, but as a mid-gripper, it is more difficult with that longer barrel. I would say if you're a rear gripper, then you'd have more success with a high tail entry, but if you like to stack your darts on top of each other, like Jacob does, this would be a great option for you. I tend to prefer to stack bomb-shaped darts more personally, like a Phil Taylor or John Lowe, but as straight barrels they just feel a little strange for me to stack them, but it works for Jacob and for many others out there, so perhaps these sit exactly how they should. And if that's what you want, evidently, that is what you will get. Here we have the Condor Zero stress system, which is personally one of my favourites for soft tip darts. They're fantastic for playing on the bull, as they bend out of the way of the incoming dart. The Axe Neons that I follow up with are a little bit more brittle, and whilst they look fantastic, I find that I get more bounce out and deflections than any other system, which actually happened a couple of times whilst filming this section, when looking at the entry of the darts that is. Kudos though for the darts following each other so closely, or maybe actually I'm improving as a dart player. We live in hope. The 8 system, as I've said many times before, is too back heavy at almost 2 grams when I weighed it together, and if you really want low entry, it is a viable option for you as well as the slims. So, who should buy this dart? Well of course Jacob fans for a start. Zachary and the boys at Loxley have once again produced a fine dart at a fair price. The chrome black look with the sharp red in the ring cuts makes it visually appealing and small features like the grip on the tapered nose are nice details. It's remarkably well balanced as a dart that's longer than I usually enjoy throwing and its consistency through the air is down to a carefully designed centre of gravity which makes this dart forgiving, much less likely to fishtail in the air and surprisingly enjoyable to throw for someone less suited on paper. Combined with the Dimplex setup, these throw superbly for me, and I actually carried on from the 180 throw and hit a nice 15 dart leg, which isn't too shabby at all. I hope you enjoyed the review. Please like, share and subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to see more from me. And remember, love darts.